Church in our course on leading teams. The goal of this course is to help you manage and lead your team to success. This is one of my favorite topics. We've been studying teams for the last 12 to 13 years, really trying to understand what can you do to help your team develop, grow, and ultimately deliver the results that you aim and, and aspire to. And we've learned a lot from our research. We're going to share with you some of the best practices, some of the concepts, some of the tools that you can use to lead your team to success. Uh, in this course, we'll have four different sessions. In the first session, I will work with you on how do you design your team for excellence. Uh, with respect to designing, how do you compose your team? How do you build in the right level of diversity? Uh, how do you set goals for your team? In that second session, I'll work with you on how do you structure your team in terms of roles and responsibilities? Uh, how do you set uh, effective reward structures? We'll also talk about some of those informal structures in terms of the norms that you create for your team that really guide behavior. Uh, in the third and the fourth session, uh, Maxim will come and share with you some of the, the best practices and latest research on team dynamics and team process really around how do you manage conflict? How do you promote uh, commitment? How do you enable learning and growth in your teams? Those are some of the team processes and dynamics that we will talk about as part of this course, all with the aim for helping you manage and lead your team to success. To get us started, I wanna share with you our framework on team design. And this is the framework that will guide our conversation, our discussion for the first two sessions in the Leading Teams course. This team design framework consists of three major components. The first component is composition. We're gonna talk about how big should your team be and what are some of those trade-offs with small or big teams. We'll also talk about who's on your team in terms of demographics, personality, values, abilities. And how do you think about composition, diversity, along these different attributes? This, again, will be part of this first session that uh, we uh, talk about. Uh, we'll also talk about team goals. Uh, how do you establish SMART goals in your team? How do you think about driving commitment to those goals? How do you balance some of the trade-offs between learning-oriented goals versus performance-oriented goals in your team? composition team goals, that'll be our focus in this first session. In the second session, we will spend a lot of time talking about structure. Again, formal structures, how do you establish uh, different roles and responsibilities for your task work, and then as well as those informal structures like norms that are really gonna guide your team's behavior. But this team design framework will really uh, be our guide for our conversation and the discussion that we have together. And this framework is really closely aligned to that Michigan model of leadership that is woven through all of our courses as part of the leading people and team specialization. That Michigan model that you see here in terms of building collaboration, driving innovation, having the appropriate structures in place so that you're able to bring people together toward the accomplishment of a shared objective or goal, and ultimately to deliver those results. That Michigan model of leadership will be woven through our conversation within this team design framework and beyond. So to get us started uh, with this idea of composition and team goals, I wanna start with a little quiz. Uh, I want you to answer a few questions and these questions I want you to answer based on your experience. Uh, and then at the end of the course, maybe we'll revisit some of these questions to see if you still have the same answer or not. So here are some of the questions that I want you to think about. Uh, first, do you want a large team? or do you want a small team? Uh, if I forced you to pick large or small, of course there are trade-offs, but which one do you think is most advantageous for you and your organization? Second question, do you want similar or different personalities on your team? There's lots of different personalities. Do you want people that are alike or do you want people that are different in terms of personality? Uh, the third question, same question, but now focused on abilities. Do you want similar or do you want different abilities on your team? Fourth question, 
Same question, but now focused on values. Do you want similar sets of values among your team members? Or do you want diversity? Do you want difference in terms of values on your team? There will be trade-offs. Which do you want, similar or different? And then that fifth and final question, should your team goals be specific and measurable? You will remember from our uh, first course on inspiring and motivating individuals, uh, we talked a lot about smart goals, smart objectives, and specific and measurable were two of those dimensions. Now when you think about your team, not just individuals, but your team. Uh, should those goals be specific and measurable for your team? Uh, these are the questions I want you to start with, and then we will revisit those over time.